Hello friends, we are in mobile application development using Flutter and this course is for third year B.Tech. I am Arun Desai from Department of CSE, KIT's College of Engineering, Kolhapur. Uh, we are in your lesson number one and uh, we are today going to see uh, Dart object oriented programming. So starting with Dart object oriented programming, object oriented programming is a programming method or model that uses object and their interaction just to design and program the application. It is one of the most popular programming model uh, and is, it is used in many programming language such as Dart, Java, C++, Python, Python etc. In OP, an object can be anything such as person, bank account, a car or a house. Each object uh, has its own attribute and that is basically called properties and a behavior. So generally we have uh, data types which are there in, uh, to store and those basically are called attributes and we have a behavior of object. We mention that behavior there in methods which are there in uh, on which actually object is working. So some OP stuff there, OP is programming paradigm that uses object and uh, their interaction to design and program application. OP is based on object which are uh, data structure containing data and method. So basically object is a data structure which can which actually contains in data as well as methods which interacts on that data uh, interacts with the data op can make code more modular flexible and extensible op can help you to understand better and solve problems the main purpose of op is to break complex problem into smaller objects there are multiple features available uh, in OP and those features are also called pillars of OP. There are multiple pillars uh, like major pillars and minor pillars. So we'll call those features there and by you working with those features we have uh, rather we write a code with all such features uh, which is in modular which is modular in nature. So we have features called class, object, encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism and abstraction. So we see one by one all such features. So talking about class, the class is blueprint of for creating objects. So by looking at class, you can create the object. A class actually holds the properties and methods of object uh, that object uh, rather in, interact with. In Dart, everything is public so the access specifier uh, of uh, the class which are there in dart is public any variable declared with underscore is private so basically everything is public if you want to uh, create a private data uh, rather private attribute private method private class you must have to add underscore before that attribute name or class name or method name in Dart, and there cannot be a nested classes. So class, uh, just like you know, we have there in C++ class uh, structure is same as that like of C++. So we have a class name, uh, keyword called class and then class name and in curly braces we write the body whereas we write the fields or attributes just to store data and we write methods of function to perform operation on that object. Now talking about object, in OOP an object is self-contained unit of code and uh, data. Objects are created from templates called classes. An object is made up of properties uh, and methods. Properties are basically variables and methods are function or procedure uh, which actually works with the object. An object is an instance. We also call an object is an instance of class. Once you create an object, you can access those properties and methods of object using dot operator. Uh, while creating an object, we have to write 
class name then space then object name equal to class name so uh, uh, just like unlike uh, c plus plus we actually write class name object name then equal to the new and class name in dart programming language new is optional so if you don't write new it is still okay and it creates the object talking about next feature of object oriented programming and that is polymorphism polymorphism uh, poly is many morph is form so we have many forms uh, polymorphism is about many forms we can achieve polymorphism by using two uh, methods or two types one is called compile time and another one is called runtime polymorphism we can achieve compile time polymorphism by using operator overloading and method overloading but in case of dart method overloading is not applicable so you cannot have method overloading there in dart we also achieve polymorphism uh, by the help of uh, other type called runtime polymorphism whereas method overriding is there so we can have method overriding in dart then we have cascade operators uh, we can access a class member just by using cascade operator cascade operator is a double dot so we access uh, those uh, variables which are there in class uh, by using those double operators which are there on screen libraries and visibility if you want to use the particular library you have to give reference uh, of that library and its content so you need to import that library inside your program so just to import that library we have a keyword called import the import uh, directive accept a string which must contain a particular scheme for built-in libraries you have to use dart prefix followed by library name da import uh, dart maths import dart io import dart colon html those few are libraries which are in uh, use there everything else uh, that doesn't belongs to dart sda such as custom library created by you or another developer in the community must be prefixed by package so we have to uh, write package over there in if it does not belongs to dart sdk so we need to import like import package then if it is you know uh, the file is um, written by any developer so we must write that uh, file if we want to have there in our pro that file in our program uh, or our file then we need to import it with package so everything which is not as a da uh, we are belongs to dart we need to write uh, a package there while importing it could happen uh, that two different libraries have implemented a class with same name the only possible technique to avoid ambiguity is called library ali ali alias it is a way to reference the content of library under the different name so we need to add a different name like which is there on screen we need to give a different name to that class and by looking at uh, by using the alias name we can import the library just like import package uh, colon library 2 dot dot as second so we uh, import this library with the name called second so my class is there in both the uh, files we can import like this with the alias name that is second dot my class you can selectively import uh, also uh, or you can say exclude also so selectively you can uh, choose any class from a package or you can hide uh, that class and uh, from the package and you can accept other classes uh, or you import other classes in your file just like which is there on your screen that is uh, in first example import package colon library one dot dot shows my class which actually imports only my class and discard all other 
classes which are available in, in that package whereas in second statement import package colon library two dot dot hide my class which actually hides the my class and imports all except my class so this is how the example of class and object we have class test uh, while working with class generally most important thing while in, uh, initialize while um, declaring any variable in dart is you must initialize that variable otherwise you must call a lazy initialization so while uh, working with the classes we are actually using those variables off in other functions so in that case we need to use lazy initialization so the keyword called late is used for lazy initialization we are using and initializing that variable before its first use and that is basically a lazy initialization and we are using lazy initialization while working with the classes so in this example we are actually passing one initializing uh, declaring one variable and we are uh, write we are writing a function there called square and we are returning the square of uh, the uh, square of the value uh, which we initialized in class test and this is uh, how the class looks like and in main function we create the object and we uh, call the square function another <coughs> feature which is there uh, is called encapsulation in dart programming uh, everything is public by default if you append any underscore at the front it becomes private there is no way to define protected members or variables every member is public by default unless you append an underscore which makes it private to its library it will apply to variable function classes also so encapsulation is binding the things together in a class so uh, it requires uh, while binding it requires that data should be safe inside class so we have to we must have to declare those variables and uh, variables and uh, attribute rather we can say fields there as a private so we bind them in a class and for that in case of dart we must uh, write a private variable with underscore thank you